We're going to take this Dollar Tree bronze leaf and we're going to make it into something beautiful. I'm going to cover this bronze leaf with fall leaves and just make it gorgeous. As you can see here, I just love it. Made a fall tree and it was just sensational. I love that too. And we're going to get the similar effect with this leaf. So I had some fall leaves, just it was a garland of fall leaves from last year from Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to pluck the leaves off of it because I want to use it. I haven't used it yet. And I think they call it the bronze leaf. Um, I got that from Dollar Tree and I ordered off of Amazon these fairy lights that comes with a battery pack. And it also comes with a remote control. So that's going to work perfect for this project. And I also got rechargeable batteries. I'm not a fan of using batteries, but if I have to, I use rechargeables so that we can just continue to reuse them in over and over again. So all I'm really gonna do here is wind the wire of lights around the frame itself. And it, it pinches on pretty good because it's wire, it does bend. So if you give it a little pinch, it'll hold on pretty well. So just start wrapping around. We want to cover the entire frame really well. I guess they might call it a wreath. I don't know, because it's not circular. I find it funny to call it a wreath, but the bronze leaf. Anyway, we're going to cover this as thoroughly as possible. So try not to get frustrated. Eventually my string did get a little bit tangled, but keep going around and around. And um, I pulled it fairly tauntly uh, just so that the it sticks pretty tightly onto the frame. If you're new to our channel, we really appreciate your support by hitting subscribe. Thank you. So there's a very convenient loop at the top of the battery pack. So we're going to just zip tie it to the back of the leaf. You just don't want it showing. So just go down from the stem area there a little bit and zip tie it on. It works great. Don't worry about it sticking out. It's, it won't show. Then you use a little bit longer zip tie just to hold the body of it to the back. You want it firmly attached so it's not jiggling around. And now you can see it's quite firmly attached. So that's secure. So now we can move on to the next step. And just a quick reminder, always check your battery pack, your lights, and make sure they're working before we proceed to the next step. We're gonna need a bunch of fall leaves. So I'm just gonna pull them off the stem here. And before I start the project, I'm going to make sure I have enough leaves. And oh, I'm going to also cut off those green stems because we don't need that part. So I'm just going to do a layout here, cut the stems off and just lay them out and cover the frame of the leaf. So once we've established we have enough leaves, let's just knock off those leaves and get started. So now we just need to determine what size of leaf we need to start the point with and the shape. And I'm, I'm attaching the leaves with hot glue and I've been using Gorilla Glue the last while. And I'm attaching it by putting hot glue right on the wire frame and then just pressing down the leaf on top of it. Be careful not to burn yourself. And just when you're attaching the leaves, the veins of the leaf should follow the veins on the bronze leaf. The top of the leaf should always be pointed outwards. So I started at the tip and I just continued to build up to the stem and just layering as I go. And make sure that you're covering the base of the bronze leaf frame. And as you're layering your leaves, just ensure that the stems are following the same direction. And to make the stem, I just added some hot glue on the first of all on the zip tie because I want to make sure that's covered. And just add hot glue on the frame and then continue to wrap around with the jute string. Green cord as well. I just went with the natural jute color. So just keep adding the hot glue and work your way up to the tip. And I'm just going to add a small branch of acorns. I'm just hot gluing it into the top of the stem. Just add some visual interest. So I'm going to mount it onto a mirror. It's going to double the light. So that's the reason why I'm adding it onto the mirror. I want it to be very impactful. And I got this mirror. It was like a dollar fifty from a thrift shop. 
and it's silver, which is not the color I need. So I am decided I'm gonna just put a base coat of black on it, and then I'm gonna brush it with some waxing paste on top. So I'm not trying to go for a very smooth finish. I kind of want it to look a little more rustic. I always find it so satisfying pulling off the tape. It's just like, oh, it looks so great. And next, all I do is add a command hook. It's just the easiest way to attach it. I have loops in the back already. And I decided it needs a little something something. So I'm going to add uh, a green leaf, a couple little orange mushrooms, and a cute little acorn. Well, isn't that pretty? I have this really dark hallway in my house and oh, that looks sensational there. I love walking down the hallway. Every time I go down, I've been leaving it on. I'm like, oh, look, that's so pretty. Every time I go down the hallway, it's so cheerful. I hope you enjoyed my original fall craft and maybe you'll give it a try.